Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. Today we're going to try a build recommended by Zoe Zebra down in the comments. 16 square dice with a run of 1 through 11 and the 11 being a times 10 and voids. And then the remaining dice have four more dice of 11s for a Yahtzee bonus. And the last die can have shop refreshes, wilds, and other support type things. So that seems to be a good plan. A decent shop to start. Obviously, we're going to start with values that are far higher than 11. And then later on, we will find ourselves with the need to get one of our faces down to 11 on our final die but that shouldn't be a problem so to begin we will build up a die to probably 93 97 somewhere in that vicinity and see what re-rollers and stuff we get along the way and then we will come back and see what we get on our next couple of shops so i'll be right back after we build the die all right here we got up to 93 and then rather than going to 95 and then rolling and then looking for a 2 or a 1 that we might not get. I'm just going to stick with the 93, go up through the next couple of tiers of shop. As ever, tier 2, we don't expect to find anything that we want in particular. So, although that said, it's exactly a 5 we want. So, we'll grab that now that we're looking directly at it. Nope, 5 would be 98, it would be 4 we want. Glad we're starting off strong with the correct mathematics today. So we then go up to our next tier of shop, and this is where we actually have things we want to buy, like a 4x on our 93 face. And if possible, six times re-rollers. Make sure I'm actually trying to purchase the correct thing. Now, is this better than this? It's not. We're picking up two single re-rollers, but losing out on three double re-rollers. So we'll stick that over there and just go up to our next tier of shop. We are going to need to buy a couple of extra dice. If we're only going to get five through upgrades, we're going to need to find 11 more. One of those, if it were a void die, I would not be mad. Let's set all those numbers in the center to be 93. It's going to increase our scoring in the early game considerably. Now we can go on looking for everything else that we want. Now, 100 dice we're not going to get to, but 50 dice we will if we have 16 dice times 5. That's, what, 160 halved is 80 dice. So that we can actually make use of if we have the five times number of dice passive. So we'll work up to that later. And whilst we're staring at one, we might as well set all faces on one of these other die. Because we're going to need them eventually. So let's start here with five. It's prime. It's divisible by five. Might be able to get some good work out of that. One of these again already. There's 50 times dice for a 500% bonus. That's not going to kick in for a good while. So we might as well purchase it now, I think. a lot of rolls. We can also take a die with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 because we want a die set to all 10s. So that's an easy pickup. A plus 3. If we put that on the 6 here, that's our 9 sorted. We're going to want a void die as well at some point. Let's upgrade this center die to all duplicate rolls. Then, if that was our 
10 and our 9. We still need an 11. So we might as well buy a plus 10. And stick that on a 1. It's going to do a good job getting our run started. And immediately we're presented with rerolls in triplicate. So we'll upgrade our 93s just because that's where most of our money is coming from right now. We will pick up a void die. Hopefully this is not too expensive at this stage. It looks like it's probably a bit premature to try and earn that naturally. We have no target die for shop refresh adders, so we'll buy a prime die. Then we can move stuff around later. There was an 11 here the whole time, although I think we bought a 10 previously, so I don't have to feel bad about that. Shop refresh adder over on our new face. The lowest number here, 47. Right, a couple of good scoring passives would not hurt us right now. We are not generating score in a very quick way. But a number eight is going to be good. Factor 18 multiplier. It's going to be pertinent for a while. And then when it's not pertinent anymore, hopefully we would have found some other way to get scoring. We'll pick up no weights bonus as well. So that's... 11... 10, 9, 8. So the only number bigger than 6 that we need right now is a 7. That shouldn't be too hard to come by. We could do plus 2 and plus 4 here, but I'd rather build onto something naturally if possible. Numbers less than 13 get a 500% bonus is a very big boon for us. How quickly do we get there now? Not incredibly, so we'll pick that up. That's going to really impact our scoring now. We'll pick this one up with all the voids now. Because we can roll to that reasonably more efficiently, I think. We'll take a settle die faces. Excuse you. So, let's do 11. We'll take a 10x for our die with the voids on. Let's get that re-rolling in duplicate for now. We don't need lucky sevens. A die with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 is probably fine. We can take this opportunity to move off one of these 11s to here, unless there's anywhere else we can build it and move it from. Plus 8 on a 3 makes 11. Then we can steal one from there without having to destroy our other set of 11s. Square numbers bonus, we'll pick that up. 50 dice, 800% bonus is also going to be good for us down the line. Now, of course, we do need to upgrade the shop once more, so we don't want to forget about the extra die we'll get from that. But we're currently at 9, so we are getting the square, bonus, square numbers bonus for now. We're not going to get to 100 die in value. So that was 11. Tens is surrounded by larger numbers, so we'll hold off on that. So we had a nine somewhere, didn't we? Yep, we can get rid of this 72. I'm not too attached to it. And again, we can set all faces somewhere else. 11. 10, 9, this is an 8, so that's done. 
but we're still looking to make a seven somewhere. I think we are. Numbers divisible by five bonus, we'll pick that up. I might have grabbed too many scoring passives too soon. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. None of this looks like stuff we need. Set all dice again. So this is our... Oh, I'm dumb. What did I do down here for an 8 when I had an 8 up here? Alright, well... I guess I'd maybe made a 7 down here and wasn't paying attention. In any case, I think I'm just going to do 10s here. And we need to find a couple of plain dice. There's a standard die. And if we add 5 to the 2 face, we get our 7. Is there anything we want to move? Eventually we'll need to do something with the die of 93s, but right now I think we can avoid that. Die boosters we don't want. Scavenger, we can probably pick that up at a reasonable cost. And maybe it's time we think about upgrading again. We're up to 10 dice, we need six more. One of those will be the upgrade, so we need to buy five more dice. We'll get some more value on our numbers divisible by five, because we'll have fives and tens represented. Numbers less than 13 re-roll twice is a reasonably good multiple re-roller for many of our faces right now before we can get no weights re-roll in triplicate. There's settle dice for our sevens. What else do we have? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, no 6. Then we have 5, and we need 4, 3, 2, 1. So we just need a bunch of standard dice, really. You could probably think about putting 10x multipliers in various other places. I don't think we've seen any of the prime multiplier bonuses yet. There's run length multiplier though. We will grab that whilst we're looking at it. So that will multiply our run by the number of different numbers in the run. So at the moment we have 11 for 1, 10 for 2, 9 for 3, 8 for 4, 7 for 5. So we'll times all those numbers by 5. Then when we get the rest of the numbers in, we'll times them all by 11, because we're going to end up with a 1 through 11 run, is the plan. Uh, a die with 4 and the rest is absolutely fine, because we can buy that and immediately set all faces on that to be number 4. We'll pick up no weights bonus for 200% more. I don't think we have a target for our no our settle faces rather, that's what that is. I was just thinking about how this die up here, we're eventually gonna want a Yahtzee of elevens. So if we can find a plus three, we can make that an eleven for our own purposes. to avoid increasing perfect squares but we can add a standard die so that's 5, 6, 7, 8 9, 10, 11, 12 at the moment number 
numbers divisible by two. Get a bonus. Fine with that. We don't need the eight. We don't need any of the rest of this at the moment. No 99s. 100% more. We're probably scoring far more than we need to right now. But I will get this one re-rolling in triplicate so we can then glue down the void face. Sorry, the non-voided face. And we've got a lot of 10x's here. Unfortunately, we haven't found the multiply or add multipliers together. Runs reroll twice. Which re which universal reroll did we already pick up? Numbers less than thirteen reroll twice. So runs rerolling twice is of no benefit to us. We get something rerolling in triplicate. Another 10x. A 5x. Right, let's glue down this face. And then I think I'm going to upgrade the shop so I don't forget to do it later. There's all die quantities times by five. So we currently have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times 5 is 65. So we're going to get a huge bonus from this because we have, if we have 50 dice, we get a 500% bonus. So we'll pick this up for a couple of mil. And now our scoring is going to skyrocket. So let's pick up this wild while it's relatively cheap. We'll stick this down here with those because it's not doing very much else for us. Prices go quite high now. Add a copy of an existing die. We could probably do that with relative ease. And what do we pick? Probably just a die full of 11s and 10x multipliers on it because those will become part of the artsies. So that's 5, 10, 14. We need two more dice. And for the run, we need 1s and 2s and 6s, I think then we should be all right. We can get another copy of a die we already have. Seems a bit excessive for what we should be able to buy, just a standard plain die at some point. We'll grab a 10 times previous re-roller, or 10 times previous score, stick that on the void die. It's going to do big things for us. There's a set of die faces. I feel like I've got too many dice that aren't doing a contribution to the run. But we know that we need six. So we'll grab six. There's no weights re-roll in triplicate. That's our universal re-rolling sorted. So this was 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 die. Don't want to accidentally pick up 10 of them. That would be a bad time. Oh, geez. There's all the scoring in the world. So we did six there, we got four there, so we can do three here.
doubles bonus for pairs. Why not? Since it's so relatively cheap compared to what we currently have in value. We'll pick up a 3x and stick that on here. Why not? Add previous rolls to rerolls. Sure. Yahtzee increase we do not want, specifically. Let's see. I still should have been looking for a plus three to make that into another 11. Add die quantity. We'll grab that. Now, there's a few other things I would really like to see, particularly Yahtzee bonuses for when we get all our 11s set up. A single set of a kind bonus is fine by me because we're only going to have one Yahtzee ever. Combine face multipliers we'd like to see. How expensive did shops get? Incredibly. Okay, well, I regret not finishing my run sooner. Let's add an incrementer to this 8 here. Right, what number is it now? It's still an 8. What number is it now? It's a 10. Can we get it to be on 11? Obviously, it's not re-rolling. Oh, no, it's got no weight, so it should be re-rolling in triplicate. I was thinking about numbers lower than 13 still. Oh, come on. It's not going to hit that face ever. Or it's going to hit it twice in a row and make 12. I knew it! This game is against me. Alright, that die is wasted. Which is going to be a problem. Let's just set it all to be 12. For now. What else are we doing? We probably want top three. And there's a seven. Do we benefit from a seven? Not really. We still need one and two dice. I probably should have bought them earlier, because we're not seeing plain dice anymore. Just plain, regular old run-of-the-mill dice. We can make a copy of something and then add seven, then set it. It's an extreme way to try and get to an extra eleven. If we copied our fours. And also, it doesn't really help me get the die I want to be 11s. There's a load of prime number scoring. It's going to be nice for our 11s and such. Let's pull an 11 from here to there. We'll pull another one from here to there. That die is too big. Now our rerolls are prohibitively expensive. We can set all faces on this to 11s. I haven't seen any Yahtzee bonuses yet. And I would just like to buy 
a couple of regular die. You know? Apparently that's too much to ask. Runs reroll we don't need. We could be getting the face multipliers, but I'd rather just invest into one very large face multiplier when the time is available to us. So if this is an 11, we've got one, two, three, four dice of 11s, and that makes five dice of 11s. So we don't actually need 11s to be a target anymore. So we just need a dice of one, a dice of two, and we have this one going spare. Never did I think getting the numbers one and two would be the hard part. It's fewer than six dice, which we obviously don't qualify for, for anymore. The number two is not what we need. Or plus two, rather, is not what we need. I just can't believe we're not ever getting any plain dice at any opportunity. Everything continues to be incredibly expensive. I'm just trying to wonder if there's any better way for us to get the numbers we want. An incremental die might be it. So we'll buy that, and if we just set it all, we don't have the funds to do it. I'm silly. 2.2-ish. I definitely should have... We're just not generating score in the same way as we were a moment ago. All of these numbers are ruined to us now. I should have saved up the cash for it first. Let's take our run multiplier. It's going to multiply everything by 11. Did something happen? Or have I just suddenly warped my perception of scoring? Everything feels off all of a sudden. None of these things are the things that I want them to be. Adding die copies does not help me. I can't believe that getting the ones and twos is the problematic part of this build. It should have been the easiest thing from the get-go. There's Yahtzee's get 500%. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We need one more die to get the square bonuses back. Not that that would have been the thing that really impacted our scores suddenly tanking. Did I do something? I'm so perplexed why we're suddenly not earning score as quickly as we were a few moments ago. Unless we got one very large score which then impacted our ability to earn cash. We also got rid of our 93s but I don't think they could have been contributing the majority of everything here. 
Either way, as we run down to near zero rolls, it's clear that I've done this entire build a disservice and just done a terrible job of it in general. So tomorrow I might come back to this and try and do it properly because we got to E16, but it should have been much better than this, surely. I feel like something went terribly wrong. In any case, thank you ever so much Zoe Zebra for the idea. I will I will make this right because I'm not happy with how that turned out, but that will have to wait for next time. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas that you'd like to see executed, put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you again for so uh, what? Thank you again ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.